Let's kick this off with a spoiler alert. If you have not seen Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, you should probably click off the video right now. Welcome to the Chaos Multiverse. Jimmy or Chaos, the voice is a little shot right now. I'm under the weather, but I'm fighting through it. Today, uh, I want to talk about Andrew Garfield's future and uh, Gwen's future. You heard me right. Gwen and Emma Stone. And you may be saying to yourself, she's dead, Jimmy. Well, hear me out. This is the, uh, not MCU, Spider-Verse, whatever. Anything's possible. Let's just go with that. So the rumors are that The Amazing Spider-Man 3 is happening. More and more rumors every single day. Andrew Garfield said he wants to continue to play the role of Spider-Man. There's even talks for him being part of a Spider-Gwen spinoff. There's talks for him being part of Secret Wars down the road with MCU stuff. It's crazy. But the main talk is him getting to finish his trilogy, which makes a lot of sense to me. Well, a lot of people want Emma Stone back. They want Gwen to be part of that, which could set up into a Spider-Gwen spinoff after that. Sony's looking down the road, trust me. And uh, it's possible. It makes sense. And I'm going to explain to you how it could actually happen because right out of the gate, you say, well, she's dead. And you're right, but things change. So a couple reasons. One, we talked about this in a video yesterday, all the loopholes and the plot holes and everything from Spider-Man No Way Home, technically all the people that came over were killed at the hands of Spider-Man, right? That's not true, though. They weren't because I'm pretty sure um, Lizard wasn't killed and I'm pretty sure uh, Doc Ock wasn't killed. But anyway, they were all technically killed at the hands according to Doctor Strange. Well, Gwen actually, you could say, died at the hands of Spider-Man because Andrew Garfield shot his web and it got her, and then her back hit hit the thing. So technically, uh, he kind of killed her. He didn't save her, which means he killed her, kind of. Anyway, the point is, there's your loophole number one. So if she was killed by Spider-Man, all they have to do is say, oh, she came into the MCU during Spider-Man No Way Home, but nobody could find her. She was off doing her own thing, and then she got zapped back. Or it could be the whole Tom Hardy uh, scenario. She popped in, she went to a bar, she got drunk, she learned about Thanos and everything else, and then all of a sudden she got snapped back. But she's alive, right? There's other loopholes that work as well. I mean, Lizard was cured. Again, he was actually cured back in The Amazing Spider-Man too. but it doesn't matter, okay? Gwen's father never died. And since Electro was cured as well, well, maybe Andrew comes back to uh, his normal Amazing Spider-Man universe, and it's changed, and Gwen is alive. There's multiple factors where they could literally just spin it on its head easily and say Gwen is alive. I like the first one personally that Spider-Man killed her, so she came through alive just like all the other villains, and then she snapped back, and she's there, and she doesn't know what's happening, and then Andrew Garfield's gonna go find her, and he's gonna be like, what happened? And he's gonna tell her, and he's like, I wanna fight an alien, and then they're gonna go fight Tom Hardy's Venom, and then she's gonna become Spider-Gwen and get her own spinoff, and then we're literally gonna have Spider-Man content for the next 20 years on the MCU side and the Spider-Verse side. I think it's gonna happen. Not only was Andrew Garfield key for those movies, and everybody loves him now, it's, it's a refresh for him, but everybody loved the dynamic. They loved uh, the, uh, I guess you could say, the connection between those two because they were together off camera as well, and it was natural. So I think it would be huge if Emma Stone came back, and I think it would be even bigger if she ended up being a Spider-Gwen. That's just more movies for them, more box office blockbusters, right? You guys let me know what you think, but I promise you it's easy to manipulate that one to bring Gwen back and make it happen. Give me your best theory. Let me know how you would bring her back and I'll see you soon.